Okay, so here we are. We've ordered the full spectrum laser cutter. The model is called the Deluxe Hobby Laser. Uh, runs right around 3K when you uh, when all is said and done, a little bit more than that with shipping. And it arrived via FedEx ground. Uh, box was a little beat up, but generally it was pretty well intact. And uh, what you find when you get it is that the box is actually a box within a box, which makes sense. Here you can see we're opening up the second box. Now you'll notice here uh, on the very top they've put the honeycomb uh, unit there. That's the kind of table area where you set your items. And it actually it turns out later, uh, as you'll see, that got damaged. Uh, it got squished in one of the corners. Not so bad that we cannot um, use it, but we definitely want a new one. Here's the packing list. Uh, turns out, uh, well, I don't know if you can read it sideways, but there you go. Uh, turns out everything was uh, included that was supposed to be. Uh, we're, we'll show you the unit here as it looks inside the box. You just remove the styrofoam. Bada bing. And there it is. Very clean and nice. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lift it out of this box, set it up on a table, and then we'll um, we'll show you what comes inside. It's quite a bit of quite a number of items packed inside uh, this unit. So here we have it set up on the table. It was quite easy for two people to lift it up on there. And once you remove some of the masking tape, you can see what's inside. It comes with everything packed right within the unit. So the instructions, uh, that's a key there. Uh, this describes how you download the software and just some general warnings and such. Uh, the unit does not come with a manual. You need to download that PDF uh, from their website, fslaser.com. And that's where you get your instructions as to how to do that. Okay, so what this little box here is, is the additional lens. Uh, it's obviously a very uh, delicate item because they've boxed it inside a box and you can see that it comes in a special little plastic case and it's quite tiny so we'll open it up here and we're not actually going to take it out of its paper wrapping but you'll see that it is very small now the unit comes uh, this one is the 2.5 inch and it comes with a two a two inch uh, so that's what comes already installed in the unit uh, they give you some tape and some various paraphernalia there as well as a bit more on the different units now that's a duct fan there so you essentially slide that into the back of the unit and you'll see later on uh, there's a duct uh, this here is a Chinese made uh, water pump. It's made for a big fish tank and that comes with the unit. Uh, you do have to buy a bucket so essentially you've got an in and an out tube coming out the back. Uh, here's the duct fan again and it's, uh, it's not a very high-end expensive unit but it is built for the machine and you'll see later on how that slides into the back. This is a compressor that also comes with the unit and that's to keep the uh, the area inside um, free of, of smoke I guess. haven't tried it yet but um, 
that's my understanding. And there's a few more items here. This particular item is a fluorescent light. I know, there's the fluorescent light. Uh, that other package were the cords. Uh, there's an electrical cord, the power cord, as well as the USB cord. This little baby is just a very inexpensive mountable fluorescent light, which I imagine goes on the inside of that lid you see there so that you can see what you're doing. And once again, it's made in China. So we'll take that out and make sure it's all in good shape. It seems to be so. Okay, now checking to see if there's anything else in the main cavity it appears not to be. So what we're going to do is close it up and we'll look in the back. Now in order to open the rear uh, casing for the or compartment for the, um, the actual laser bulb, uh, the unit comes with two different keys and one of them uh, metal keys, not that key. Uh, so here's the keys here. And that's how you open up the, oh, that's a ruler, okay. Um, this is how you open up the rear compartment where the laser tube goes. And there it is. And we noticed right away that the laser tube actually had a bit of moisture uh, on the inside which apparently is normal and probably means that they tested it before shipping it off to us. So we'll get a close-up on the bulb. There you can see the moisture. And it's quite fancy. That's a mirror right there uh, in the corner. And there's another one in the other corner and those apparently need to be adjusted. So the next thing we want to do, uh, oh, by the way, there's the USB ports. There's two. There's a new, uh, new style and old style. So depending on what kind of a computer you have. Uh, here's the gauges. Amp meter, regulator, laser test, laser switch, air pump switch, lighting switch. Now that's if you plug your air pump into the back of the unit, which you really probably shouldn't do. Probably better just to give it its own, you know, get a power uh, power strip, a surge protector, and pump the um, the uh, right, uh, the water pump and the air compressor into its own, plug them into their own plugs. And here we're trying to figure out how to get this thing open. This is the electronics uh, bay and what you're going to find in there is sort of the last piece of hardware that comes with this unit and it's the um, you're going to see it in a second here it's this amazing beautiful four inch duct material I say this with tongue in cheek um, here it is and you can stretch it out and you can shrink it back up um, so that you know does the basic job. Uh, we're actually going to keep it. Uh, we thought about buying a fancier duct, but it does the trick. And otherwise, what's in there is stuff you don't really need to know about. Now, here's how the, the duct fan goes onto the back of the unit. So there's two slots, and you just slide it in like that. You plug it in, you take your duct, and you send it outside. So we're just going to open the window and put a piece of wood in there. Now here's the damage that we had on our unit. Uh, this is the honeycomb platform which sits inside the unit. It's kind of like a heat sink. So whatever material you're going to use the laser on, whether you're cutting or etching or engraving, um, you just set it on here. And so let's open it up and take a look and see how it 
how it looks. So there's nothing really much to this, but it does serve a useful purpose. And there's the damage we had. So as I said, it's not uh, not a deal killer. The unit's still going to be usable, uh, but it would be good to have it sit as perfectly flat as possible. So that's really not going to be something we're going to want to stay with. We're going to want to get a replacement for that. And from what we understand, Full Spectrum is uh, very good about replacing broken items that may come in your box. Uh, I must tell you, you know, when FedEx came, the unit was, even though it's clearly marked that it should kind of lay flat, it was sitting up on its side, um, and there were boxes strewn just about all over the back of the the truck there. Uh, so we're pleased that it came in as good a shape as it did, and that the bulbs and the most you know critical things were not um, were not damaged at all so far. Haven't fired this up yet. That'll be the next video. Uh, we actually got a laptop specially, uh, specifically to use with this unit. And we're going to load the software on there and um, give it a good run. So there you go. And we'll keep you posted.